Do you struggle with running out or staying on the right side of the ball? Well, this little tip involving a piece of chalk is going to help. One of the most important parts about playing position is staying on the correct side of the ball. You want to think three shots in advance and stay on the correct side of the ball. And I have a tip for you using a piece of chalk that'll help. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, we're going to break, take ball in hand, play a little rack of the ghost, and I'll explain what I do. Pretty good break, made the, what, three balls there. Don't really need to take ball in hand here, but I will just because I said I would. So what we want to do is, here's two piece, pieces of advice, two tips inside the tip, is while you're thinking, you want to be chalking. That's rule number one. Rule number two, go to your next shot and look at your next shot line. Look at the next shot you want. This is the shot I want right here. I want to be right here to make that four. And what I do is when I'm done chalking, I set the chalk down right on the shot line and I walk away. Now, rule people, referees, that might be against the rules, I don't know. But if you do it slick, you do it sly, you just put it down, you walk away. No one's gonna know, right? No one's gonna know. Just, no one's gonna know. So now, I got ball in hand on this one. I have choice of almost every pocket. To get onto that four, the easiest is just to play it right here, stun it over, and I'm right on that shot line, right there. See, I see that visual. No matter where I am, now I see that visual of where I want to be, and I'm okay to be on this side of the shot line. I don't want to get to this side of the shot line. This side of the shot line is fine, so just, just draw the ball back a little bit. A little bit of a little draw shot here will be fine. So now we're fine. So now again, we're thinking, so we're chalking, and we're going to look up for our next shot. We're probably gonna play the six in the same pocket. The problem here is that seven ball doesn't have a pocket. So we're gonna to have to do some magic there. We'll probably have to go from the six into the seven nine and really just hope for the best, but we'll see. So we're thinking, how do we wanna get on this six to break that up? Ideally, we'd want to be right about here, right? So that's where we drop it down. So we're really just going to put this ball in and just come right along this line. We're probably going to end up over here. I'd have to go to this rail and back over to get perfect position. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going just gonna to put it in. I might run into the six. That's the only problem. I avoided the six, and I got pretty good, right? It's not amazing, no one wants to have to do this, but so now, think about our, our line that we wanna hit. We'd ideally like to hit more seven than, than the nine here, so that the seven goes towards the pocket, the cue ball will come around here. But we don't have a whole lot of control. It's kind of, this is going to be a kind of a tricky shot, and we got to kind of hope for the best. But I have that shot line, that reference point of where I would want the cue ball to go into, so I can think about that from here. And we just hope for the best. And... Honestly, it could have been a lot worse. We're kind of straight in on a combo here. So, you don't really need the chalk for this. We Again, we just kind of want to hope for the best. I'm probably going to just make the seven with a little bit of draw, which is tricky because we're close. And again, kind of hope for the best here. But we are pretty straight in. Had to get out of the way real quick. So. We're down to two balls. We don't want to screw this up now. Everyone's watching. Everyone's betting on you. You don't want to screw it up now. We are, we have a little bit of an angle and we can play these into the same pocket. Ideally, right here is straight in. It's kind of a far reference point, but you know, get in the habit of it. I'm just gonna go 
into that rail and try to come over right to the center of the table. Just stun it right over, right to the center. And we're easy out. And just like that, we learned how powerful a piece of chalk can really be.